And new tonight, an historic push to make Charlotte the city of the future. Only on NBC Charlotte, new details about city leaders putting together a plan to make the Queen City a 5G network town. This would be huge for the Carolinas, changing homes, streets, and your smartphone. So 5G is the fifth generation of wireless technology. According to Verizon, 5G will give us self-driving cars, smart cities with improved traffic congestion, and blazing fast internet. NBC Charlotte's Mark Boyle live tonight with how this new tech will change the Queen City. Mark? A whole slew of changes, Fred. You know how if you go to your phone, you try to FaceTime, it doesn't work. It's so irritating, it's agitating, and then you try to get an email, it doesn't work. All of that stuff won't be a problem as soon as 5G rolls out. Real-time video, no more buffering or bad connections. How about ultra fast internet without a cable needed? Get ready for green. And the signal is going to go green. Charlotte City Councilman and Executive Director of the Carolina FinTech Hub, Tarek Bakari, is hoping Charlotte becomes the first fully serviced major city, not just in the U.S., but the world with 5G capabilities. I've been on a mission over the last almost year to figure out how we can make Charlotte the first city in the world to be fully operational under the new 5G uh, technology and infrastructure. The city wants to work with corporate giants here in Charlotte and communications companies like Verizon and AT&T to make it all possible. But one of my use cases, I want every stoplight in our city to be an IoT smart stoplight. IoT means Internet of Things, using the Internet in ways you've never seen. One of those is for safety. Check this out. Your car could talk to you. And if I drive faster than the school zone speed limit. Speeding in school zone. And it's not just lightning fast cell phones and talking cars, but it's hologram video conferencing and imaging. Using a special camera to capture a face and create a hologram in real time. On a small scale, AT&T has picked a handful of cities, including Charlotte and Raleigh, as test markets. The entire 5G conversation certainly will not happen overnight. But by the time the RNC comes to town in 2020, it is possible the way you communicate right now could be out of date. Sounds pretty exciting, right? Well, the other big question is where is all this funding going to come from? Federal grants could be key here. But of course, those communications companies like the Verizon, Sprints, all of those, they will play a major role in making sure that the infrastructure is in place so their products can be online here in Charlotte. Guys, back to you. Oh, very interesting. Thank you, Mark. <laughs>